What is up my fellow household appliances, it's your boy LJ back with another video and today I'm going to be telling you exactly how I got over 65 million streams on Spotify this year. So it's that time of the year, Spotify wrapped, everybody's posting their favorite artists, all the, all the artists are posting their streaming numbers and it's basically like a holiday for all of us to just congratulate each other to our success, just a little, little bit of flexing and a lot of goal stuff because honestly my goal for this year was like 40 million streams on spotify rap last year i got like 20 million streams so we definitely surpassed last year and my goals by a lot so basically i'm just going to take you through my spotify rap show you all the secrets show you the behind the scenes on what everything says in here and then I'll, along the way i'll also just let you guys know how this happened what are some stories behind it what are some strategies what are some tips and tricks that you can follow to reach a similar amount of success one day. And if you're new to my channel, we're doing this with beats, bro. This is all, this is just instrumentals. So this is, I'm not an artist. I didn't have like a song on billboard charts or nothing like that. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, let's go. Your music was added to 865,000 playlists for the first time, crazy. Your song was saved 1,071,532 times. This is a huge stat. I'd say this is, if not the number two, but the number one reason my streams were so high this year is because when people save the song, it's not about them streaming it the first time, the second time, the third time. If the music is being saved, they're listening to it over and over again, and it's gonna be saved in their library forever. So next year, they're gonna have a Spotify rewind. It might be in there, you never know. But this is a huge stat. This is something really you should all be striving for is getting people to save your songs. More than 145,000 people follow me on Spotify. Huge stat. Really appreciate any of you that are watching this and following me. If, if you are Eldre on all streaming platforms, whatever. Basically, the way you gain followers, for me, the way I did it was just from having the viral songs. So, you know, obviously the Steven Universe, they're gonna talk about this later on, but that song went stupid viral on TikTok. But even before that, I had the Shibuya song go viral, um, the Dear Katara songs, all my songs that went viral on TikTok, once they saw that and they came to Spotify, they were instant follows. Cause as you may know, I talk about this all the time, especially if you're doing lo-fi hip hop, many lo-fi hip hop producers don't have followers. And that's just because they're in playlists, people are listening to the playlist, but nine out of 10, they're not really clicking and checking to see who the artist is. But when you build yourself up on a platform outside of Spotify, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, whatever it may be, those people are gonna come from those sources, come to your Spotify and follow you as a person because they wanna know when your next drop will be. And since I have this many followers, whenever I drop something, the chance of 145,000 people seeing it in their release radar is very high. You were added to 1.5 million playlists. Million. To me, that is absolutely insane. So what this means is not only was I added to, you know, a few editorial playlists or maybe some big playlists like, um, you know, like the Lo-Fi Girl playlist and stuff like that, but that means hundreds of thousands of people are creating their own playlist. Just think about it this way. How do you listen to music? I personally listen to music by a new album drops. I listen to it a few times, pick my favorite songs, put it in my daily playlist, and that's what I'm listening to. So nine out of 10, the majority of these are just personal playlists of music that these people like to listen to a lot, not just once or twice. If, you, if you're in someone's playlist, you're gonna get hella streams from that one person just from being in that playlist. But guess what? it's not just personal playlists. A lot of these playlists are people who have followers who also listen to those playlists. They're searching on Spotify, chill beats to study to, chill beats to relax to, chill beats to stream to, whatever it may be, and I'm popping up in these playlists and it's a whole ricochet effect of streams. So my main strategy for getting into playlists besides just having viral songs, I feel like, you know, it's kind of like skewed because of the viral songs, but actively try and get into all types of playlists. Don't just strive for editorials. If you can hit up smaller playlists, search them up, see if they have any info, try to get into these playlists, use submit hub, use any service except for any of the sketchy ones where you have to pay, except submit hub, submit hub is legit. Don't just focus on huge playlists, 
try to get into smaller ones as well because trust me it adds up speaking of playlists on september 3rd i was added to the lo-fi beats playlist which has over 4 million followers. This has been my goal for a very, very long time. So shout out to whoever runs the Lo-Fi Beats playlist. The song that was added to this playlist was Pac-Man. And that song was actually me experimenting with labels. So there's a Lo-Fi label called Hip Dozer. So I released this song through them and you know, they're professional Lo-Fi people. So they pitched it. I don't know if they have connections or what, but for the most part, it just seems like these, uh, these labels, they know how to pitch. Whether they have connections or not, I don't know but they just know what to say. They know what to pitch because not every song is going to be added to a playlist if you just go and find labels. So don't think that you can just go through a lo-fi label and you're just going to be added to playlists because that's just not how it works. All right, now let's get into the nitty gritty of why I actually got so many streams this year. Steven Universe. Not to mention, Steven Universe was released in 2020, but it was my most streamed song this year. We all know by now why it happened. If you don't know, TikTok, bro. Quick story of how Steven Universe came to be my most popular song. It's over 20 something million streams on Spotify and on charts. I was on viral hits playlists, all that kind of stuff. But some of that was last year. Not all of that was this year. When I first dropped Steven Universe in 2020, I posted it on TikTok. The TikTok itself promoting it went viral. It had a million views in a couple days. But the sound, the sound, it did, a, it did okay. You know what I'm saying? It had maybe, it got a few hundred, a few thousand people who used the sound. Time went past, time went past. And towards the end of 2020, there was a lot of food people, you know, chefs that were going viral cooking using the sound. Um, a lot of people were just using the sound as a sad soundtrack. They don't know what Steven Universe is. They don't know who I am. They don't know what lo-fi is. They just thought it was a sad sound. And then the way TikTok works is once a sound gets popular, people are using the sound so their videos can get popular. And it's just a ricocheting effect. All of a sudden it has like eight or nine million videos made to it on TikTok. No matter how many TikToks are made to it, a good percentage of that those people actually went to find the song. That's what happened. It got into a bunch of playlists because of that. And the streams just, you know, it trickled, it trickled, it trickled, it trickled. But at the end of the day, I didn't do much. I made it. I did my part. I made the song. I made the TikTok. It went viral. Nothing really happened. And then eventually people just started using it for some reason. I cannot tell you why, <laughs> but here we are. On January 27th, 63,000 people listened to it. So whatever happened on January 27th, whoever made a TikTok with it, whatever happened, bro, thank you. <laughs> from the bottom of my heart, thank you. It reached a total of 20,400,000 streams in 2021 from a song that was dropped in 2020. Crazy. Okay, now here's my growth. This is obvious. The more growth you have, you know, not much I can say on that. Here's my, look at that. It says Doja Cat is one of my collaborators. That is so fire. Um, I did a remix. I did an official remix for Starboy featuring Doja Cat. You know, I have Doja Cat as someone who I've collaborated with. That's so hard. Here's a very, very, very important stat. 454,000 fans played your songs on repeat. Now here's the beauty of lo-fi hip hop, my friends. Now I don't wanna, you know, it's not a scam, it's not a hack, but at the end of the day, chill beats to study to are exactly that. You can hate if you want, you can be upset if you want, but at the end of the day, it is background music. People are putting my music on to, you know, calm them down for their anxiety. They're putting it on to sleep, on repeat, to sleep, to study, to, to work out, to go for a walk. Whatever people are doing, Eldre is just a part of their lives now, baby. <laughs> because none of my music is intrusive. None of it is crazy. I keep my mixes pretty calm, pretty toned, and it's just stuff you can just put on and just vibe, bro. You can put my music on, the whole discography, on loop and just vibe out for days so that's a hack make sure your music is consistently sounding good they stream my music for 2.3 million hours i'm telling you that's a lot of sleeping i'm telling you 63 fans listen to you more than any other artist now this number is actually kind of low if you look at actual like artists singers rappers like this number is going to be way higher that is the downside of just doing lo-fi hip-hop because it's instrumentals most people this isn't their main genre all right, people love listening to my music, but they're listening to Drake more. It's just facts. And that's it. Look at it right there. 65.8 million streams, 8.2 million listeners, 175 countries, and 2.3 million hours. So here's the deal. Yes, we just talked about it. 
but let me just tell you some things I consciously did because at the end of the day, you never know when something is really just going to take off and blow up. All right. But for the most part, even without Steven Universe, I got 20 million streams from Steven Universe. So let's see, 65 minus 20. So even without Steven Universe, I got 45 million streams. So not everything is about having a hit song. You don't have to have a hit. But what I'm going to tell you right now, and this is just facts. This is 100% facts. One, let me tell you, I'm just a regular ass dude, bro. I'm not the most talented guy. I'm not the best producer. I'm not the most versatile. But at the end of the day, I found something that works for me and I stuck to it. And that is my number one tip. That is my number one hack for success in anything. I found something that worked well for me and that I enjoyed and I stuck to it and I'll be, I was super, super consistent with it no matter what. So obviously these aren't first year numbers. This is like my third year in to like the whole uh, instrumental releasing game. So obviously a lot of the groundwork has been done. If you're watching this and you're relatively new, like you don't just expect this next year unless you get a viral track on TikTok. Number one tip, get on TikTok right away, even though it's a little, it's a little less now, but it's still the best. But yeah, I laid the groundwork down for years. First thing, I got good, bro. I got good at what I do. Honestly, that's that's all there is to it. I really got good, that's first. And I practice a lot, that's next. I've been on Instagram before you could even post videos. Um, I have, I've had a YouTube channel since 2018. I got on TikTok relatively early, so I lucked out there. I've been on Twitter, I've gone viral on Twitter a few times. Um, I have music on Snapchat through DistroKid, you can upload your music to Snapchat. Like for instance, my song Maniac with Nessence, it's going crazy on Snapchat right now. Who would have thought, bro? But yeah, if you go to Snapchat right now, you'll find Maniac in the trending sounds with thousands of videos made to it, Snapchat. So all my groundwork has been laid out and I've been on every single social media possible, spreading my music as much as I can in a not annoying way, not DMing people saying, listen to my music, but I've spread myself out. I'm on Twitch now. I'm on literally any platform that I can. So that's probably my biggest suggestion is to just obviously get good at what you do, be very consistent with it and spread yourself out on every platform possible. I can't stress this enough. Don't uh, TikTok. Oh, it's so lame. It's such a dumb app. Like, bro, get over yourself, bro. Who cares what you're saying right now? TikTok is the sh bro. I owe TikTok this house, my guy. So stop being a baby and just get on the damn clock app and watch it change your life. It's possible, bro. You can't be afraid of new things. You have to be able to adapt because every time I've had a song blow up in my head, I'm like, damn, I'm about to be a one hit wonder. But guess what? It keeps happening. So I don't, <laughs> I'm not trying to like rant right now, but this is a rant because a lot of you guys just need to be motivated. But as far as actual strategies, some of the things I did that I don't normally do is I did a lot of collabs. So for instance, um, I did those collabs with Mondo Loops and those were released through Lo-Fi Girl and Lo-Fi Girl has one of the biggest Lo-Fi hip hop playlists on Spotify. So those songs did a lot of numbers for me. I did Pac-Man with Hip Dozer. That's another Lo-Fi label. They worked their magic. It got placed on Lo-Fi Beats playlist, which gave me a lot of streams. I did much more collabs that exposed me to different audiences. I'm into vinyl now. I've been releasing different types of projects, different types of music. But at the end of the day, what I got popular for is my remixes and my Lo-Fi cartoon flips. Yeah, sure. I, I explored my artistry this year. I dropped a great album, Birds of Paradise. Um, no remixes on that. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a nice body of work. But I still sprinkled in some of my theme song flips because that's what people found me for. So I got to give the people what they want as well as a mixture of what I want. I released a song with my girlfriend, Nessence. It's called Maniac, a little drum and bass vibe. That song has like 500,000 streams. Do you know why? Not because of who I am, but simply because I released it on Spotify four weeks in advance and I pitched it through her account and my account. So when it got released by the grace of the Spotify playlist gods, it was added to the alternate R&B editorial playlist. It was added to L'Oreal. It was added to a bunch of dope Spotify playlists. And people were telling me that they heard it in H&M in Italy, bro. So by no means did I just do the exact same thing over and over again. I definitely explored different types of music, different types of beats, 
different types of everything. And I was still able to have consistent success. And that's because I never gave up on what I became popular for. A lot of people go viral for something and then they completely switch lanes. You can't do that, bro. Honestly, you can't do that unless you don't care then go off and do whatever you want. And yeah, those are those are my biggest tips. I feel like I'm rambling. I don't have a script. I don't write any of this stuff, but I hope there's a cohesive message in this video. So be consistent, be good at what you do, spread yourself out on all social media platforms, collab with as many people as possible, and don't be afraid to talk to a few independent labels. Thank you everybody who listened to my music this year. I appreciate it. I'm not stopping anytime soon. Next year, I'm a little nervous, I don't know if I can top 65 million streams, but I'll try my best. Let's see if we can get another Steven Universe or something. But yeah, those are my tips. Let me know in the comments if you've watched any of my videos on like Spotify marketing this year and let me know if it's helped you. Let me know if you've been in playlists. Let me know if you have any tips to share. Um, I'm really interested in that kind of stuff. Also, I have a Discord and we have a music marketing channel where we're always dropping tips and helping each other out. So yeah, make sure you join the Discord as well. And I'll see you next year for the next Spotify wrap. We'll see what the numbers are. Um, remember this video. I'm talking to future Eldre. Bro, 65 million. Did you do better? And if you didn't do better, did you do all you could? That's all that matters. Love you, bro. But yeah, that's it. I'm a table. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be. Um, yeah, watch this video. Really cool video. Subscribe for more check out everything else links in the description for all my music or whatever stream my new ep yeah that's it love you guys peace